Are you ready to reach your goals? Are you ready to become strategic? This is fantastic because in this video today, you're going to focus on the main strategies that will allow you to reach your goals faster and easier than you ever thought possible. Now, the way that most people are doing it is they're first choosing a strategy. This is what I want to do. And then they figure out what their goal would be. And that should be the other way around. First, you need to know where you're going. That's your destination. That's your goal. And only then you need to pick up the best vehicle for that. Like, how are you going to get there? That's your strategy. So by the end of this workshop video, you will know exactly what are the best strategies that will serve you in order to reach your top goals and create an ideal life. Now, this is, going, this is going to be a working video, which means that you're going to do some work, which means that you need the pen and paper and preferably the printout of the PDF that the link is in the description below this video. So if you need a moment to get yourself together, just pause the video, go get it. I will wait. In order to get the maximum out of this video, you need to have clarity on the seven most important goals in your life, for now. Only when you have those, you can start researching and identifying what are the best strategies in order to achieve those goals. And that's what we're going to do right now. Ready for it? Let's go for it. Now, before we start, I need you to make a commitment, a commitment to yourself to give yourself 100% in this process in order to get the maximum out of it. The more you put in, the more you get out. So just take a moment for yourself, go inside, and make commitment, a strong commitment to give your 100%. I'll wait. Got it? Wonderful. And now let me know in the comment box below. I want to hear from you in the comment box below that you're 100% committed. All you have to do is to type in, I am 100% committed. It sounds crazy and, you know, ridiculous and whatever. It works. Do yourself a favor, type in the comment box below, I am 100% committed. Do it now. Wonderful. Well done. So right now what we're going to do is to focus on your goals. Whenever you want to create something in your life, anything, it needs to start with a goal. Only then you can start into the going to the strategies, taking action, etc. So we're going to start with the goals. In our system, the way we work is we work with seven different goals in different areas, seven different areas. Okay, the first area is financials, your money. The second one is your career. The third one is your health. The fourth one is your relationship. The fifth one is... What do you do in your fun time? Recreation. Sixth one is personal development and spirituality. And seventh one is your contribution. Okay, so this is important. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you two minutes to just take the seven goals that you already set for yourself and write them down. This is very important. And remember that we are going to put them in the five, in the using the five criteria. Okay, so the first one, you want to make sure that every single goal you set with including yourself. So it starts always with the I. Okay, I own a car. I live in a house on the beach. Okay, it's always I. The second one is you want to make sure that your goals are stated in the present, never in future time. Future never comes for your unconscious mind in present time. So I live on the beach or I live in a house on the beach. Okay, or I drive a sports car. It's always in the present. Okay, the third one is always state your goal in the positive. Never put a goal like I'm not fat, I'm not uh, sick, I'm not poor. Okay, always put for yourself, if it's instead of I'm not poor, put for yourself, I earn $100,000, euro, pounds, whatever it is per year, whatever it is. Okay, so always state it in the positive. The fourth one, the fourth criteria is that you want to make sure that it's always describing your goal is always set to the end result, not the process of how you're going to get there. Okay, booking the tickets for your vacation, it's not a goal. Going on vacation, I go on vacation is an end goal, is, an, is, a, is the end of the process. Okay, it's not a process by itself, it's the end result. Okay, so that's the fourth one. And the fifth one, make sure that your goal is very specific. Okay, it cannot be a vague goal like I'm totally healthy, okay, or I'm happy every day. Okay, those are goals that it's very, very hard for you objectively to tell me, yes, I got it, no, I didn't get that. Okay, so you need to make sure that the goals are specific, they are set in a way that if I'm asking you, did you get it or didn't you get it, you can easily say objectively, yes or no. Clear? So right now I'm going to give you two minutes to write down your seven goals. Do that in your, uh, in your paper and I'll wait.
Great, so right now we're going to focus on strategies. You want to pick up one main strategy for each one of your seven goals. Okay, you can have more than one uh, strategy, but right now we're focusing on one main strategy to achieve each goal. So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes and I want you to go over your list of goals and for each one of them to choose one strategy that will help you to achieve that goal. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple of examples just to, to make it a little bit more clear. Okay, for example, quite a few years ago, uh, uh, I wanted to work on my health. I wanted to get to a perfect health for my age. I was 40 at that time. And uh, at that time, I wasn't in a, in a very good shape. I was a couch potato all my life. I never did any sports. I, uh, I, I was taking care of my food, but not more than that. And when I got to 40, I wanted to reach perfect health for my age. Now, I knew what I needed to do. I needed to go to the gym. I needed to take care of my weight. I needed to take care of, my, of the way that I'm eating and sleeping, etc. But that was not interesting enough for me to, to, to make it into a strategy. So what I chose to do is I chose to put as a strategy, I'm going to run, by the end of the year, I'm going to run the New York Marathon. That gave me about 10 months, I think, of time to train and practice and do whatever I needed to do. Remember, before that, I never ran a meter in my life. Okay. Now, for many people, setting a goal like I ran the New York Marathon would be a goal by itself. And that's totally fine. No problem. But for me, that wasn't the goal. That was a means to, the, to achieve the goal. Okay? I wanted my perfect health. And by training, by, by, by doing all the things I needed to do in order to get to finish the New York Marathon, then I knew that I would be in perfect health. So that's training every day or a few times a week. That's making sure that I'm taking care of what I'm eating, how I'm resting, and how I'm breathing, etc., etc. Okay. Another example, at one point in our uh, relationship, Red and I got into a place where it wasn't going so great and we gave ourselves a year. That was our goal within a year to bring our relationship into something that will be full of passion, full of love, full of romance, bring everything back that we had at the beginning, falling in love with each other again. So that was the goal. And the strategy that we chose together was, uh, you know, we could choose a strategy to go to counseling. That would be a strategy. We could go, we could decide to uh, go on a long vacation together. That would be a strategy. What we chose to do is to do a project together. We chose to write and publish a book, which we did. And that's The Art of Love Making, which was actually a book about couples that are reaching this plateau or relationship, the passion starts to go down. And what do you do in order to bring it up? So that was a fantastic strategy that allowed us to basically spend a lot of time researching and practicing and doing all kinds of things and at the end getting a project together. So those are just an example. One more example very quickly. Um, I want to, my goal right now is uh, to become to, to build up an expert position in the area of personal transformation. That's what I want to do right now. Okay, I'm, I have an expert position in the area of small business. I want now to be a, to have an expert position in the area of personal transformation. So I could do many strategies for that. I could write a book. I could uh, have a podcast. I could uh, be on stage again like I used to do with thousands of people. What I chose for this time as a strategy is to do this YouTube channel. Okay, this YouTube channel is my vehicle, is my strategy to achieve this expert position, to achieve that goal. So I hope that's clear right now and I'm going to give you two minutes. Two minutes. If you need more time, simply pause the video and take as long as you need. But two minutes right now to write down for each one of your big goals, each one of your seven big goals, one strategy, one main strategy that will get you there as fast and as easy as possible.
Wonderful. And right now we're going to look for one strategy, one strategy that can allow you to achieve several goals. Okay, many times in life we have one strategy that when you implement that, when you're using it, then it gets you closer to several of your goals at the same time, maybe two, maybe three, maybe four of them. Okay, so I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to think about it and find out any strategy that can help you reach more than one of your goals at the same time. So for example, uh, right now one of my strategy is to grow our own food. Okay, it's a strategy. And that helps me to reach our or my health goals because I want to eat only healthy, organic uh, vegetables and fruits that I know where they came from. Okay, I'm growing my own food. It also allows me to, uh, to reach my goal of environmental goal, which is, this is my contribution. I want to make sure that this planet is staying here for a little bit more longer. So my little contribution is that I don't import uh, food from a long distance, that I'm, uh, that I'm, uh, I'm, I'm taking care of the soil and the, and the earth, etc., etc. It helps me on a, on a level of, a, of, a, of, of lifestyle. Okay, I'm a lot more calm, I'm a lot more connected to the airs, to the seasons, to the weather. So that helps me also in the, in, in, in the lifestyle goal. And also when I'm, when I'm thinking about a contribution goal, then that's something that I'm sharing with a lot of people. Both the produce and the knowledge that I'm cre creating, that's part of my contribution. Okay, so one strategy, four different goals. So I'm going to give you right now two minutes, and if you need more time, just pause the video and take as long as you need to find out one or more strategies that can help you reach several goals at the same time. Two minutes, start now. Wonderful. And now it's time to commit, committing to your strategies. So what I'm going to ask you right now is to write down a list of, of actions, actual actions that you're going to do in order to start using those strategies in the seven goals. So basically you're going through every single goal, every single strategy that you chose, and you say, what is the one action or actions that you're going to use in the next 30 days to use, to explore, to learn, whatever it is that you need to do with that in order to start implementing that strategy to achieve your goal and your ideal life. So basically I'm going to give you two minutes if you need more time, pause the video, take as long as you need. And what you need to do is to go over your list and for each one of the strategies that you wrote for yourself, just write down one or more actions that you're going to start doing in the next 30 days in order to implement those strategies. All right, two minutes, go for it.
Wonderful. So now take one minute, one minute, and let me know in the comment box below what is your biggest takeaway from this uh, from this lesson, okay? And what is your commitment about it? And I want to explain that. So just stay with me for another second, okay? Insights or takeaways are fantastic. You know, they makes you feel good. They makes you feel that you learned something, that you saw something about yourself, that you achieved something. But actually, the insight by itself or the takeaway by itself is not going to change your life at all. It's not going to move you any closer to your ideal life. What is going to change is your commitment to take action. So I'm asking you for a specific and concrete action that you're going to do in order to implement that takeaway. So what I'm expecting to hear or to read in the comment box below is I want to, to, to read what is your commitment and what is the action, the specific and concrete action that you're going to do in order to implement that takeaway. All right, you have one minute for that, go. Wow, you did it. You are a superhero and you're going to have a super life when you start implementing those strategies that you just wrote for yourself. So the next video is right here waiting for you. And until we meet again, live fully, stay awesome from Nisande.